In this video, I will teach you how to make this bubble animation in Blender. It is going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by turning the cube into a bubble. So let's add a subdivision surface modifier and increase the number of subdivisions and then apply the modifier. And then press tab and then shift alt s then one to turn it into a perfect sphere. Then press tab again and add some smooth shading. Okay, so now we have a smooth bubble and now we can add a plane, which is going to be the particle emitter. So press S to scale. And then we need to go into the particle settings and we can add a new particle system. So uh, the number is how many bubbles we want and I'm just going to add 100 for now. And then next, I want the particle emitter to emit particles for a thousand frames and then make the bubbles last for 600 frames. We can also add some randomness to the lifetime so that they pop at different times. Okay, and then under render, we're going to set it to object so that we can select the uh, bubble and then set the cube that we turned into a bubble as the instance object. And then we can increase the scale randomness to give the scale of these bubbles some randomness so that they don't all look the same. We also need to increase the scale of the bubbles. Okay, and right now they're just falling down and we can fix that by turning off the gravity. So let's uh, go down a bit to field weights and then set the gravity to zero. And then we're going to save before we continue. So just save the file wherever you want on the computer and then save as to save. And then we need to add some wind. And we're going to blow the bubbles upwards. So we'll go to the force field and then the wind. And then press S to scale up the wind and then go into the physics settings and we're just going to uh, keep the default settings for now. And then next, we need to add some turbulence. And by adding some turbulence, the uh, spheres or bubble will not just go straight up, but also have some uh, noise on the X, Y, and Z axis, so that there's some randomness to the movement of these bubbles. And then you can, of course, edit the uh, different settings and the scale of the particle emitter until you have a result that you like. I also think I need to increase the lifetime of these bubbles so that they don't pop straight away because that doesn't really look that natural. And also increase the strength of the wind so that they uh, rise a bit faster. So let's set it to two, for example, which should be enough. And then select the plane. And I'm going to uh, increase the lifetime of these bubbles. So let's set it to 1500, for example, so that they uh, generally don't pop straight away. And then we can also increase the number of bubbles by increasing the emission number. And right now it might live a bit too long. So I think I need to decrease the lifetime slightly. So just play around with the different settings until you have a result that you like. So uh, I think I'll set the lifetime to a thousand and also increase the randomness of the lifetime so that some of them pop a bit earlier and then control shift s to create a new save and then next i'm going to add a background image so that we get some nice lighting so press x to delete the default light and then add an environment texture open and you will find the environment textures for free in the link in the description. 
and the HDRI I downloaded for this tutorial is called White Streets, which has a uh, nice blue sky. And then I'm going to use Cycles and uh, GPU. If you have a CPU, you can just use the CPU. And I'm going to increase the uh, number of samples to decrease the amount of noise in the render. And then let's make the emission plane completely transparent. So let's add a transparent shader. And then next we need to add a material for the bubble object as well. So let's uh, drag the top right corner and go into the shader editor in the new window. And then I'm going to decrease the roughness to zero and then set the transmission to one so that they become transparent. You can also press N to hide the side panel. And then I'm going to save one more time and then let's go into the render settings and make the background completely transparent so that we get the lighting of the HDRI and the uh, background transparent. Okay, and then we can use a mix shader. And then we're going to add a uh, transparent node and combine these two. And then we can add a node called layer weight so that we can get the bubbly look for the shader. So uh, connect facing to the factor and then you can change the blend value. Okay, and then to get some coloring to the bubbles so that they look a bit more soapy, we can add a noise texture and then connect color to color. And then you can of course edit the uh, values inside the noise texture node. And uh, this is what it looks like when we play the animation. And then before we continue, we can save. So uh, Control Shift S to create another save. And then we can also select the uh, bubble or the cube. And then press S to scale if you want to change the scale of the bubbles. And then press Control Alt Numpad Zero to set the camera to the current point of view. And then press N and lock the camera to view. And now we have the camera set up. And then we can pause the animation and set up the output settings for the rendered images. So let's go to the output settings. I'm going to set the resolution to 200%, which is 4K. And then select a folder for the final images. Just going to call them bubbles and uh, save them in a uh, folder. And then next, we can go into the render settings and under advanced, enable animated seed so that we get some uh, different noise for each frame to add some variation. And then let's also hide the original bubble. And then under cache, we can also bake the uh, particle animation. And then for the camera, under the camera settings, I'm going to increase the end value to increase the range of the camera so that every bubble is included in the render. A small tip at the end of the tutorial is also to increase the metallic value for the bubbles, which tends to make the bubbles look even better. Okay, and then we can render the whole animation. So we'll just save one more time, go to solid view and then render animation. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and for more Blender content, make sure to subscribe.